Maple Collector here. I'm going to start doing some tours of my um, display slash uh, hybridizing garden here. Um, this will be part one. So this here is Celebration, Acer Palmatum Celebration. It's grown quite a bit. If you've seen uh, videos of mine from a couple years ago, this was a much smaller tree. Um, it's different color this year. I don't know if it's because of the excess rain and, and cooler temperatures, but um, more likely because of uh, I, I changed its position. It gets actually more midday to a little bit later in the day sun now. And uh, it used to get mainly morning sun and then afternoon shade. It was a, it was a lighter pink before. Uh, really nice pink. Still nice color. Um, actually, it's a little more pink in the lower branches. They don't get as much sun. And kind of more... Uh, darker a little bit darker color up toward the top where it gets more sun that's almost uh got some purplish colors in the in the edges of it there this acer palmatum uh celebration great tree can handle pretty good amount of sun <clears throat> can also handle do okay in shade although you're not going to get nearly as nice of color in shade um it's definitely i so far i would say Morning sun, afternoon shade is ideal for the ideal color. Uh, moving on, we have Amber Ghost. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Still, it's just the color changes it goes through over the course of the year are just crazy. I mean, it's always putting on a show. It's really a nice tree. It's been around for a while now. Uh, still highly recommend it. Still beats out a lot of the new ones. Acer Palmatum Amber Ghost. Also, I'm, I'm, this tour is a little later than what I usually do. So the colors are going to be different on my trees just because of that. It's not just after initial flush like a lot of my videos of the past. Um, they're actually um, in transitioning colors right now. So here we have uh, Acer Palmetum Mariel. I've done videos on this one in the past. It's uh, still got its color. It's um, starting to lose, it's starting to get more green from yellow to green. And the, still has the red tips, but they're not as, uh, they don't, they, they're blending into the entire leaf more than they were uh, when it first came out. Awesome tree though, Ace Palmetum Mario. This is probably, probably this is definitely one of my favorite uh, dissectums. Here we have Twombly's Red Sentinel. This is a popular one now. Excellent tree. I mean, for reds, it's hard to beat. It just you keep it if you have it in the sun. It really keeps its uh, color for the majority of the growing season. Um, probably stays a bit more red for me here because it's because of su cooler summers um, in hotter areas it's going to turn darker burgundy color mine gets darker in the summer but it doesn't get real dark like I've seen some pictures of it um, in hotter areas I have some other plants around too I probably won't talk about them but I'll show some of them this is a really cool hybrid, owl hybrid here. If anybody has any questions about any of the plants I show, uh, you can screenshot it and, and uh, or you can just kind of ask me about, you know, give me a timestamp and ask me about the plant and I'd be happy to explain it to you or let you know what it is. Well, I have a lot of owl hybrids, a lot of species too, but um, this is Coralinum, obviously not in its, uh, peak colors. It's turning kind of a brownish color now, um, but all, always an awesome tree. There's some colorful leaves right there. Still a nice 
tree to contrast with some other trees but it's bright red in the early spring or later spring this year because everything leafed out so late for me because it's so cool uh, here we have uh, what is this one? Siankaku kind of a Makawa style and it has a really crazy growth on it Siunkaku. This one's, I'm sure I've shown it in my other videos, but it's starting to get pretty big now. But I love the growth on it. It's just very irregular. Much faster growing than Makawa Yatsubusa. Also different looking than Makawa Yatsubusa. Um, I can see why people put it in the same category though, because of that irregular growth. Right here is uh, Prince Hanary. This one um, is more of like a salmon color when it first comes out. Um, it's still got it's still got kind of a neat color. This is pseudo platinus. It's not a Japanese maple, a European maple. Um, so Acer pseudo platinus, Prince Hanyeri. Uh, this is an unfortunate one this year not looking good at all this is my pv starfish um, what happened to it last year is the pot it was in is in a smaller pot it uh got a hole in it got i don't know i ran something up against it maybe uh, a dolly or something and i never fixed it or transplanted it <laughs> and i think probably half the root system uh dried out and died and it's showing it's showing some issues not coming out very fast and branches are dying um, hopefully I'll be able to save it I actually really like I mean you can see the cool leaves on this one I really love uh, uh, this one PB starfish but if I lose it you know it's okay I've got too many trees anyway um, I can always get another one this is not a difficult to find tree so it has become very popular over the years, but I, I highly recommend it. I mean, you never know by looking at it right now because <laughs> it's super ugly, but it's a nice tree. This is a fast growing dwarf here. This is Livy. Um, it would be like a darker color if it was in more sun. It doesn't get a whole lot of sun over here. I'll probably move it, um, but this thing is a fast grower. Nice tree. Nice. I, I love the leaves on it. It's, uh, it's, I don't think it's a, must not be a witch's broom. It's just a dwarf. But um, it's got those full amoenum leaves on it. Really nice. Really nice color. Really nice, like, uh, burgundy color to it. Very nice. Um, this, these cool leaves. This is Acer palmatum akushimo. Plum tree I need to trim. Neighbor's plum tree. Um, I think this one actually might have some seeds on it. Unless they've been eaten by the birds or knocked off. Eh, I don't see them. They might still be on here. But anyway. Acer palmatum akushimo. This is a fast growing tree. And it... Uh, it has a nice shape to it too. It's real fastidiate or columnar in its growth. It probably fills out more as it gets larger. But a real, like a Japanese garden looking tree. So if you want a, a Japanese garden, a tree that really looks like it should be in a Japanese garden, uh, a Kushimo is a great one. Has nice uh, bright yellow color in the uh, fall. This one here is uh, Nathan, Acer Palmade Nathan. Um, it's past its ideal color, starting to transition. This one is, uh, it turns actually nice cherry red if you have it in sun. And uh, it'll just turn green if it's in shade. But it comes out with these flame colored reticulated leaves when it first comes out in the spring. Here's some. Uh, here's a shaded area. It has some little bit nicer, like orangish color leaves. But it's really 
like no other uh, reticulated. It's very different. Although it doesn't hold its reticulation nearly as long as some of the other reticulateds, or a lot of people say ghost. I just call them reticulated. But anyway, um, nice tree. Lots of color changes during the year. Oh, there's some cool new leaves. Uh, this one lost a couple branches this this year. I had to cut off, but they'll grow right back. Here we have Acer Oliverianum, Oliverianum, a hot blonde. I've shown this before. Great tree. It's getting big. It's actually probably smaller than it could be. If it were in the ground, it'd be probably huge right now. But I'm happy with it. It's gross. I, I really don't want it to grow any faster than it is right now. But uh, hopefully in a, in a couple years, I'll start getting some seeds off of this one. It'll probably produce some really cool stuff, especially if it uh, hybridizes maybe with my Ukagumo. There's my Ukagumo. I can see why they call it floating clouds. It gets um, this real, not only because it's white or white and green, and it's the amount of white kind of differs from year to year. Um, you know, for down south, it's rarely white. Occasionally, some people, if they have it in the right spot, I guess down there you, you need it to be in a more shady area. This one actually gets a decent amount of sun. Got lots of nice Samaras on it. It's had Samaras on it the last couple years, but unfortunately, sometime in August, uh, the birds seem to like to eat them. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll take some steps to put something around the, the uh, Samaras this year so they don't get eaten by the birds. But I usually don't have much of a problem with uh, seeds getting eaten by birds, but they really like this Ukagumo. And did I finish? I don't know if I finished explaining why it looked like a cloud. I got kind of sidetracked by the whiteness, but uh, it's very congested. Uh, the growth is very congested at the ends, especially when it gets larger. So it really looks kind of like these, kind of looks like clouds. This one was had a prettier shape uh, a while back, but I I pruned a large branch off of it just because I needed space. I wanted space for more more things, and now it's kind of got a not nearly as pretty of a shape, but it's still an awesome tree. I still love it. Um, here we have uh, Golden Falls, I think it's called Golden Falls. This is secondary color on this one. This one comes out yellow with uh, kind of orange tips on it. And now as it uh, ages, it k turns more of a cream yellow. Especially because it's, it's actually in more sun than it should be. I just don't have a place for it. It's one of those trees that's kind of... I, I really like it, but I really don't have a place for it. So I probably won't keep it much longer. You know, I, I get rid of a lot of trees each year. And just give them away. Um, mostly because, not, not always because I don't like the tree. Sometimes because I don't like the tree. But sometimes it's just because I just doesn't work out. It doesn't, uh, I don't have space for it. It gets too big and I just, it doesn't fit in. There's, there's some trees I, I really want to keep. Um, just some really rare stuff. And some things that I want to use for hybridizing different species, things like that. So if a tree just, if, if I don't need it, and if it's, if it's something that I can get again, if I really want it, like if I ever move to a larger place, a larger yard, um, this is one I'm sure I can get again. It's not difficult to get. So that's uh, Acer Palmeum Golden Falls. Great tree though, I will say. I have this one in Dragon Master. I'll probably keep Dragon Master for a while just because I like the larger leaves on that one. Um, it seems to be a bit slower growing than this one and uh, less robust. It, it'll really burn in the sun. If I, I, I put uh, Dragon Master in the sun in the spring because I like the orange color it flushes out at. But if you leave it out in the sun too long, 
it will just uh, it'll just burn. This one burns too, but not as bad as Dragon Master. So anyway. Here we have one of the prettier sure saw one of hybrids. This is Joheen. Really pretty. Look at that. Joheen. I think this one's a must have for people who collect. It really just has outstanding leaves. There's a Samara. Maybe we get some nice uh, seedlings out of that. So. Acer Shirasawanum hybrid with uh, Acer Amoenum probably, or Acer Palmatum. Um, Joheen. Down here is a really cool Japonicum uh, dwarf. Um, that is, uh, oh, I can't think of it, Gossamer. Yeah, Acer Japonicum Gossamer. Some people say it's a hybrid between uh, Palmatum and Gossamer, but I think it's just a, it looks just like a japonicum to me, and more likely it's just probably a japonicum. So, um, but probably one of the cooler, coolest japonicums. I mean, I like, I like japonicums, um, but most of them have those big leaves and get very large very fast. I like the more compact forms, so I really like gossamer. It's, I think, the most compact of all the uh, japonicums that I can think of anyway. Here we have Autumn Moon. Doesn't have a ton of color because I cut it way back. I did a hard prune on it. I didn't really like its structure. Um, it had the spreading structure, but there was kind of a gap on one side and just didn't look nice to me. So I wanted it to be a little more dense. So I did a hard prune on it uh, before it started flushing this year. And it's coming out nicely again. I put it in a shadier spot because I, I wanted to... Uh, I don't want it to be stressed out by the by leaf any leaf burn at all. Um, I actually have a spot where the uh, the um, celebration is right now. Seems to be the best spot for it. Um, it gets a, a little bit like maybe three or four hours of noon to afternoon sun, and for me that worked the best. I mean, it had a really nice orange. Um, the it doesn't have, it stops getting sun probably around 3, 3.30. So, it like, maybe from 11.30 to 3.30, something like that. But here, it, it gets very little sun. It's more like a dappled shade area. So, it still has some color. And it did come out kind of a light orange. But, uh, yeah, so I probably won't have it here next year probably move it to a little bit sunnier spot um, there's my Acer and Wancy that one's in very shady spot now uh, so it doesn't have that multicolor effect like you've seen in past videos um, but I put it in a larger pot this year and and uh, it's doing really well it likes it back here it's got a really dense it's really dense looking and just a, it's a beautiful tree. Acer Amwiense. Um, here's my Dragon Master we were just talking about. Uh, in the back, it's kind of dark back here. It's got kind of a lighter green color now. The yellow's all gone from it. But a uh, cool tree for sure. That's probably one I'll keep for a long time. Maybe, uh, maybe forever on that one. Um, this is my Sengukaku bonsai, or pre-bonsai, I guess. It's not really bonsai yet, but I'm working on it. Uh, cool pink leaves. This is Acer Pseudoplatinus-esque sunset. I've shown this. I did a video on uh, Pseudoplatinus before. Uh, the, the video shows it a little more green than it is. It's actually more pink than that. But you can see the pink on the undersides. It's gotten so large now that that's mainly what I see are the undersides of the tree. So, esque sunset. 
Here's my O Siamy Acer Japonicum. Always a nice tree, beautiful tree. Probably another one that I will give away though, even though just because I need the space. I've got a lot of young trees coming up. And I can always get this one again, although this one's quite large. Um, beautiful tree, though. I, I, I highly recommend Acer Japonicum Old Sign. There we have Japanese Princess. Uh, long past its uh, peak color. It's just green now. Very cool structure, though. Look at those nice big leaves on it. It's a, it's a good looking tree. One thing I don't like about this one, well, since I've had it so far, that that could be me or could be because it's potted, um, but it, it kind of comes out in stages. So when it has its best color, it's kind of patchy looking. It doesn't really fill in until it's uh, more just green color. But still, I like the structure. I like the leaves on it. Um, and it it is a beautiful tree when it first comes out. But yeah, it's kind of a pink, pink or orange color. Japanese princess. Here we have one with uh, smaller leaves. Uh, a uh, linear lobum. This one's called uh, Enkin. Lots of Samaras on that one. Got a few burnt leaves. This is, it has burnt leaves because I actually had this one back in my baby tree section um, in a real shaded area when it first came out and uh, decided to move it out here. As it, and it, uh, you know, you move it, you move a tree, if you leave a tree out in the shade and then you move it to the sun, it's not unusual for the, some of the leaves to burn. So that's what happened. And anyway, I, th I think I'll stop right there and I will continue um, in a few days. This big shrub right here, this is a um, viburnum called Marisei, past its peak. It's beautiful. I mean, it looks like a, kind of like a hydrangea um, with all these white flowers on it in early spring. Um, it'll, it will get some uh, like red berries on it too, which are nice. But uh, this one, I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna keep it here. I might put my, uh, my Skylands, uh, Picea orientalis in that spot because I it, it's getting too big for the pot and uh, I I really like uh, Skylands so I kind of want to keep that one put it here even though sky if I do put Skylands here it'll eventually uh, take over this entire corner basically not entire corner but almost so I got to think about that one all right I will uh, see you guys soon. Have a good night.